And here we have a, a, a wonderful panel, I think, to describe for us Europe's issues. I'm Stephen Erlanger. I'm with the New York Times. I've been lots of places, um, now in Brussels, as the European diplomatic correspondent. One of the most interesting things I think about today is Poland is voting. I mean, that's you know, one of these things that actually matters. And Hungary is preparing to vote. Uh, an another one of those things that actually matters, because it goes right to the heart of whether Europe holds itself together on issues of principle and rule of law, whether Europe decides to reformulate its idea of what it is to, to have integration. Um, and um, then we have all these other issues, which you all know, I think. Um, we have disputes over immigration. We have issues over Islamophobia. We have questioning of, from the Gilets Jaunes to the AFD to Brexit, which is a live issue that remains, and which I don't think the European Union has yet absorbed all of, all of the consequences. Um, but it is already creating uh, new coalitions inside the European Union, um, and it's creating a kind of anxiety about the power of France especially um, with Germany seeming so, so, so paralyzed now by its political impasse um, and by a coalition that, um, as they used to say about empires, uh, long ago disappeared but never went away. So um, what I thought I would do with your indulgence is because we have so many wonderful panelists, um, and so little time. I don't, I've, not, I've told our panelists not to stand up and give speeches for 10 minutes in a row, because that's no good for them and no good for you. Um, I'm going to ask a few leading questions. We're going to try to have a conversation. And then I actually want to go to you, because this is an interest clearly to everyone fairly early in our discussion. So we have roughly, eight, roughly 80 minutes. So the first thing I want to do is um, just ask the panelists, when they think about the problems of the European Union today, what are the one or two issues, only one or two issues, I don't want them to talk for more than two or three minutes, that seem most prominent to them? And I thought I would start at the other end with the former French foreign minister, Hubert Vedrine. Monsieur Vedrine, s'il vous plaît. 